What's up? Man, it's one of those days. I am tired. Don't know why, though. I mean, I was up last night late doing laundry. And then I woke up and went to the gym this morning. But... Yes, yeah. All right, so um, this is a quick video, like really quick video. So tonight at five o'clock, I will be, um, remember, you know how I'm always talking about this beat thing that I always do. Um, so it's every Friday, it'll be like in two hours from now. And um, I might jump on, pop up. So it's a, like a live stream thing. And um, the host asked me if I want to jump in. I, I don't know, I, I don't mind the jumping in part, but like uh, basically in between playing the, the tracks, you might talk about whatever, and then you might have to, you know, what do you think about this track? I'm bad at giving feedback. I mean, if it's a dope track, it's a dope track. But, um, you know, I don't usually go out of my way to give feedback. But since you're a host, that's what you do. So it'll be awkward. You could watch me be awkward for a bit. But um, I did two tracks this week. One with the host. And it's just kind of like just saying, you know, you're a great host. Because hosting is hard, man. This now this stream is probably going to be like two hours, three hours, and you know he's dealing with all the files that everyone's sending and making sure everything's smooth. Host or guest pop in and out, and you know it's like one of those things. He ain't doing it for money, and he's not like getting money from us. I mean, I, I I'm a Patreon of his now. He had a hat or something, so I bought that, and he put out a project a couple of weeks ago, and I, I got that. I mean, it's all I can do, so I did. But the song was, the, the, the track that I made in the song was just saying that I am really appreciative, appreciative of what he does. And then someone else reached out to me, and they're like, yo, can you rap on my beat? And I'm like, yeah. And um, I try to make it personal, so a couple weeks ago, I asked him what his name was, and he said he was watching his international movie, and they're based in Germany, and some random guy runs up to him like, where's the bathroom? And he said in the translation, it sounded like, da, das ist gut, something like that. So his name is Das Gud. So I made a whole track just kind of reenacting that, but like, I was out in Germany, I met this one person, well, I didn't say, I said, um, I met this broad, a broad, and you would have to listen to it because I forget. I'm still waking up. But yeah, so I'll be your parent twice. But yeah. But um, today, um, after the gym, I stopped at uh, the supermarket where I applied to do overnight stocking. And she's like, I called you. And I'm like, you did? She didn't leave a message. Who does that? I thought you'd leave a message. But she's like, yeah, yeah, you got the job. And she's like, um, for the night staff, you need to like interview with the, whoever, the manager of the night staff. So tomorrow, I'm going to meet up with our interview or show my face to the night staff and get that situated. But I have a dilemma. So my nephew, my nephew, he's a beast, man. He's... He used to be able to sit on my lap. Now, like, he's just, he's a football player. He's like, I don't know much about sports. And according to some person who was watching me, if you live somewhere for a long time or whatever, you're supposed to know everything about everything, even the neighboring things about the things. But I don't know about sports. I don't know what position he plays. I just know that he plays. And I know that um, I told him whenever he has a game, let me know because you know I've been living in Japan all this time and you know I want to support my nephew so he came yesterday and he's like I gotta go because I gotta practice for the game tomorrow I said come on man you're supposed to tell me when you have a game so then 
he sent me the details. So I don't know if I could make it. I mean, I'm sure he's going to have more games. This might be the first game of the season. I don't know. But I have to be at the interview at 1030. I don't know where it's located. Um, so we'll see. But um, yeah, so at this moment, I technically have the one job being a teacher, which will start. I don't know. Did I say this? I forget. But they wanted to know in order to teach in America, they have to verify that you haven't had any issues at any school. So when they asked me where I worked at in Japan, I gave him every school that I work with. So then they sent an email to all the schools. And of the, the, the five schools, six schools I sent, four of them got back to him. One, which was the last company I worked for, but they slow, man. They're going to take their time, but I probably have to call them. But the other one, it would have been the first school that I worked at when I came to Japan. And the circumstances were really like sketchy. I was working with company A and then they, cause in Japan they're bidding for contracts to teach for like the, the city or whatever. So they lost the contract and they're like, well, we'll still hire, you're not fired or anything, but you don't have a job until we find you a new school. Now I didn't know, I could have just kind of chilled because people quit all the time. So I would probably would have got a school in a couple of weeks. But I didn't know that. So I went with the secure path and I just, their other option is you can leave the company and go to this other company and then you'll have a job. So I'm like, okay, I'll do that. But that company was hell, man. They just, so yeah. So when they reached out to him, like, yeah, they're like, yeah, there's no Matthew. They didn't. He never worked here. But Japan would be like that because they still use fax machines and and like right up until like four years ago if you were living in uh, city a or county a maybe you're living in county a and if you move to county b they wouldn't know what taxes you paid because it's not like in a computer system so literally if you want to not pay taxes just keep jumping from different counties or prefectures now they gave us a, a kind of like a social security type number where they should be able to track you a little better. But yeah, so um, there's some other shit. I, I don't know if I'm going to get into that. But for today, it's Friday, so we'll keep it light and fluffy. So I have the live stream going up. I may or may not be on it, but my beat will appear in you can hear that and it's a great community so anyone who makes beats um the premise we get a sample we get one week to flip it and this sample actually is a japanese sample ironically it, it seems like a lot of people lo-fi and all that they always be sampling japanese things japanese people don't be sampling japanese things <laughs> i was at an event once and it was it was like a DJ and he had like a, a Japanese thing and people were just like, why the hell are you sampling that? What's wrong with you? Versus if someone's like sampling James Brown or Michael Jackson, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, so hopefully I see you in the chat. It, it, it's, um, I'll put both links. It's on YouTube and it's on, um, um, Twitch. So I'll put both links and you can see me there. All right, peace. I think this dog wants to say what's up. Uh, I guess he doesn't anymore. All right, peace.